Cool. I love the soundtrack for this game. It gives me chills. You know, despite the incredibly bad translation this game has, uh, I, I think that the ending is good enough and solid enough that, and the message there is good enough and solid enough that it really survives the horrible translation. And uh, really, the last bit of the game really, really, really comes together. You know, most of the second disc is very kind of all over the place and very scattered and you're like okay why are we it just leaves you with this okay we're just kind of you know hitting our head up against the wall here but you know everything comes together during that last sequence All of the themes of the game just cohese right there. And despite the sort of, I guess, random fight with Lord Blazer, it, it works. And I have no control over the text from now on. So if you can't read it, well, I'm sorry. I think one of the reasons, and I, I know this is kind of corny, but one of the reasons I like this game like so much, like I said, despite all of its flaws, because it at its core, this is a very flawed game. It's a really solid game, too, but it's more of a of a game that didn't quite make it, if you get what I'm saying. It's, it's a game that could have been a cut above the rest. It could have been one of those shining gems of the PlayStation era, but just kind of stumbled at the finish line. But uh, one of the things I love about this game is it's got such a positive message at the end, you know. Uh, it basically it's got one of those messages that you know humanity's not bad. Humanity is it, it's not so uh, cynical, you know. Especially in back then we were flooded in these games that were very cynical and very very uh, depressed with themselves you know you know what is the nature of a man you know things like that and then you get games like this that come along and they're like you know what humans aren't so bad and I like stories like that I, I'm not a real big fan of the uh, of fatalistic stories, you know? I like happy endings, and I like positive messages. But at the same time, I'm an adult, so... I don't mind the fact that this ending is kind of bittersweet.
the characters in this game, they lost too. I mean, they found out that the, the menace that they were fighting throughout the entire first disc of the game was a fabricated menace by the per one of the people they trusted the most. It was something that he set up so that they could look good and they could get the trust of the world. Now granted he didn't have direct control of them, but that's a huge blow to, you know, your trust of, well, that would be a huge blow to your trust of anybody. You know, I mean, Irving was pretty much their foundation of support. And then, you know, they tried to stop him from doing something drastic, from shouldering the burden of saving the world on his own. But he was obsessed with being a hero. Whether he got uh, whether he got his uh, wish or not, that's really kind of up to, I guess, your personal take on the whole situation. Did Irving die a hero or a villain? That's for you to decide. Oh, by the way, the ending here changes a little bit depending on whether or not you had Maraville in your party, obviously. Because you can beat the game without her. Maravelle burst into flames in the sunlight. Hmm. Well, Maravelle's dead now. <laughs> Not really. That right there is pretty much what I mean about this being a really positive ending. Look at Brad just like strong arming a freaking just a humongous timber there. It's amazing. Oh, hey! He's not catatonic anymore! I 
I'm guessing everyone is rebuilding because of the fact that uh, they're kind of like, you know, natural disasters and stuff during the last bit there while we were fighting the Coupier Corps. Man, I love the music in this game. This song actually reminds me of uh, Sukoden. With an obvious wild arms flare, but still reminds me of that game. Good soundtrack. It's amazing how like you can hear a song and think. It reminds me of this game, or it reminds me of this. I think he just asked her out all. Forgive me if I'm quiet. I'm just kind of enjoying the music, enjoying the ending. As you should be. I do like this. This is a really neat walking off into the sunset scene they got going on here. Everyone goes their separate ways. To the Wild Arms main theme.
Actually, that might be the world map thing. I like the message of this game. You don't need to be a hero to fight against evil or accomplish something great. You just need to look around and extend your hands out to those around you and work together. I do believe that is all the in-game scenes. Oh, nope. Looks like we got one more. The owners of that bakery must be rich because they're the only place in the world that sells bread. 